Hi everyone. Today I have the opportunity to talk with Dr. Elisa Barnes, who is the co-director of the Ward Family Heart Center here at Children's Mercy, and also the medical director of our transplant center at Children's Mercy as well. And uh, we're so very proud of the accomplishments that have been made within our heart center. And Dr. Barnes, thank you so much for joining me today. We're excited to hear about all the great things that have occurred that have led to some amazing rankings in our US News and World Report rankings for cardiology. And as, um, as you know, we've achieved a ranking of number 19 in the country, which is a great increase for us. But as we all know, these rankings are nothing but a reflection of the great care and support that we're providing to patients and families and the teamwork that goes along with that, right? As you would say more than anyone else, this all begins with people. So talk about how you and your team of people have helped to achieve the, this level of accomplishment within the Heart Center. Well, first I wanna thank you for having me and the opportunity to really talk about all the amazing work that's happening in the Heart Center. The ranking really reflects the expertise and the many resources that we have to be able to care for pediatric patients with cardiac issues. We have a robust team of 31 pediatric um, cardiologists, four CT surgeons, and over 30 specially trained advanced practice nurses. We've been able to combine that amazing provider team with a large multidisciplinary team, including um, pharmacists, psychologists, social workers, dietitians, fellows, nurses, and more. And that's really allowed and been the key to the success of us being able to care for the most complex of patients with heart disease. Yeah, Dr. Barnes, I, one of the things I remember very well um, when I came to Children's Mercy nearly four years ago was learning about our heart center. I knew a little bit about it before I came here by reputation, but when I saw the level of expertise, the breadth and depth of our clinical faculty and the teams that surround that faculty to provide, as you say, that interdisciplinary care that is sophisticated, patient-centered, I was really blown away and it's been a source of pride and joy for me as I talk to people in the community about um, really how, how good we are in this space. So I want you to go a little deeper, talk a little bit more about some of those specific accomplishments that you're so proud of um, in addition to the rankings and, and what really distinguishes our heart center from those uh, around the country. Well, a few things come to mind and one of them is really about um, transparency to improve quality. So um, the Children's Mercy um, Cardiac Surgery Group was one of the first across the nation to um, volunteer to show outcomes publicly on a website um, run by the Society of Thoracic Surgeons. This is because it's critically important that we have data to work towards quality improvement for patients and also all the cardiac heart centers across the nation. Um, the other aspect we're very proud of is innovation. Um, we want to keep pushing the field forward. So we have a very successful cardiac acute monitoring program. We lovingly call it the CHAMP program. This is our group that follows the most complex um, patients with congenital heart disease from um, birth all the way through the second of a series of surgeries. Well, that group created a proprietary app that basically allows home monitoring. So the families can put day-to-day -day detail of um, different aspects and it is sent to a centralized cloud um, and then goes directly to the caregiving team um, in the hospital. This allows us to immediately intervene when we see certain things going the wrong way instead of just waiting for them to come to clinic. So we're very proud of that and it is such an amazing tool that many centers across the nation have adopted it. Um, so we feel like we've even extended our um, care to patients beyond this hospital. That's fantastic. Let's shift to research a bit. You know, we're sitting inside our beautiful Children's Mercy Research Institute right now, 
And certainly cardiology is also at the epicenter of how we ensure that new discoveries and innovations are quickly brought to the bedside, to the clinic, and can impact the way we provide care. How is the Heart Center par participating in our research journey? Well, it is one of our main missions to be a part and of adding um, advancement and more scientific knowledge in order to have more and improved ways to treat patients with congenital heart disease. We are very proud that we have two new K23 awards from the National Institute of Health. Um, one of them is focused um, on the outcomes reporting that we talked about earlier and really looking at how does that improve outcomes. The second one is bringing in that innovation we talked about as well. And it's looking at in-home um, cardiac rehab programming. So it's looking at the um, sending patients with this in-home um, basically iPad, that is going to um, have live supervised cardiac rehab um, exercise and programming. And um, one of the aspects that's really amazing is that when I say live, it's also because multiple patients with congenital heart disease will all be on the same session and exercising together. So it's gonna be looking at how does that improve rehabilitation, but also patient experience. You know, as you know, um, one of the other things that I love about our culture here is storytelling. T telling stories about patients and families that we've had the opportunity to impact in incredible ways. So does a story come to mind that sort of exemplifies what we've been talking about? There is a particular case that um, just makes my heart um, so happy to see what we can do to help kids. It is centered around ventricular assist devices. It's a young man, a 17 year old, um, who um, we have actually been following here at Children's Mercy since 2009. He uh, was born with a special metabolic um, disorder due to differences in his liver. And it's known that this disease can cause progression in both liver disease and heart by decreasing the function. We tried everything and then we implanted one of these devices. He went from barely being able to get to the bathroom to coming to clinic just last week, talking about how he was helping his dad um, do, you know, pretty intense yard work. Without these devices, he could not have gotten to a point where he could be successful and make it through a transplant. That's just an incredible story. Um, you know, we talk about um, activating the full potential of the children that we care for. That is a perfect example of powering that potential to help this child be able to participate in the daily activities of life. Dr. Barnes, I just want to say thank you for joining me today. I'm so proud of your leadership, the work that you and your team have accomplished. The future is so bright for children's heart care because of what we're doing here at Children's Mercy. So I'm grateful, excited. Thank you for joining me today.